Hi, Rosalina. Hi. Welcome to the show. Thanks. Okay, you phoned through with a cubic function and you would like to find the turning points of that cubic yes. function. Now, let's yeah. just try and determine how much you know about uh, cubic functions. Do you know how to calculate the turning points of a cubic? No, I don't know very well. Uh, have, you, have you covered it in class or is this the first time you, you're coming across this type of question? We did it in class, but it's not like the, the because of the cubic. My problem is we have got the cubic on top of, okay. of the three, yes. Okay. Let's say that the turning points are always calculated with the magic derivative. Are you aware of that? Yes. Okay. So can you find the derivative for me over here? What is the derivative? It will be x and it will be x equal to x equal to x uh, open bracket will be x plus h to the power 3. Mm, interesting. You, you're taking the derivative by using first principles. Um, yes. I, don't, I don't want you to do it by first principles because it's going to take us forever to get that. You only okay. find the derivative by first principles with the x plus h when you are told to do so. Okay. okay. If you're not told to do so, do you know what the shortcut is for the derivative no. of x cubed? You no, I don't know. Okay, you take the exponent, you multiply it by x, and you, yes. re and you reduce the exponent by 1. The part three it will be three minus one is two, yeah. Yes, okay, two. Yes. And then you take um, the same thing, you do the same thing for the next term. So I would say two times four, yes, it will be eight, negative eight, eight. x, yes, negative eight. Mm -hmm. Then on the top, we'll say two minus one, which will be one, correct, one right, correct, and then minus 11. Minus 11. Because it will no. be, it will be x. It will be minus uh, 11. 1 minus 1 is naught. So x to the 0 is just 1. Okay. Yes. Right. Okay. Now this is what we call, what's the maths word for this? It's your? I can't hear. The mathematics word for yes. f dashed x is your derivative. Okay. All right. So yes. your derivative will now give you the coordinates of the turning point. Oh, okay. Okay. What you do is, to find the turning points. To find the turning point. Yes. You let the derivative equal zero. Mm -hmm. All right. So we're going to yes. take 3x squared. It will be uh, three, uh, 3 times 0. Okay, so there's Minus your derivative, x. and when you equate that derivative to zero, we're now going to find the x of the turning points. So that okay. will be 3x mm -hmm. minus... 3x. How would you factorize that? I could look for factors of 11. It would be 11 and yeah, but x plus 1. Yes. So X minus 11 plus 3 X is minus 8. Yeah. And minus 11 times 1 is minus 11. Okay. Okay. So X equals 11 thirds or X equals negative 1. Now, Rosalina, these X values are where that graph, that cubic is going to turn. But that's just the X value. That's not the Y value. So do you know what you do with the X value? You, no. You go back and you substitute into your original function. So you go and find out what f of 11 thirds is. And f of 11 thirds will be 11 thirds cubed because you substitute back to the original. Okay? Yes. Minus 4 times 11 thirds squared. 3. Minus 11. Minus 4. Yeah, 11. With to three, the power 2. To the power 2. 
times 11 over 3. Okay. And then you keep going. Just use your calculator to work those fractions out. Don't try and battle it manually. Just use a calculator and you get a value yeah. of negative 400 over 27. So okay. what we now have is this. 11 thirds and negative 400 over 27. That is my x and my y value of my turning point. One of them. Okay? That is one of yeah. my turning points. My second one is when x is negative 1. So I'm going to find f of negative 1. And that will be negative 1. Yeah. And I'm cubing it. Minus 4 times negative 1 squared. Minus 11 minus times negative 1 plus 30. To the power 2. 11 times 1 minus 1. Okay. Plus 30. And that gives us, if you again just work out minus the algebra. Minus 1 is minus 1. Okay, minus 1, minus 4 is minus 5, plus 11, plus 30 gives you 36. Okay, mm. so your yes. next turning point is minus 1, 36. So that is your second turning point. Okay, so going back, what you need to work out first without this magic. This is really pure mathematical magic over here. This is your derivative. And when we take the derivative and we equate it to 0 then we will be able to find our turning points. Without that, we are very stuck. Okay, Rosalina, thank you for phoning, and uh, we wish you the best for grade 12. Okay, thank okay, you. Okay, bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>